You can't call him. You know, every day I have the choice to talk to a person or to talk at a person. Because if I'm talking to a person, then I am interacting with that person. I'm speaking and communicating, and they are speaking and communicating to me. I'm spending part of my time talking to them, and they're listening, and part of the time they're talking to me, and I'm listening. And we call that interaction, or connection, or communication in a way that we are talking to a person because we're getting responses from that person. But when you talk at a person, you don't care if there's a response or not. You are talking at them because you're stating things that you don't expect a response from, you don't usually wait to hear from, and you may even not expect anyone to be listening at all because you're just simply stating it at something. And every day, when you wake up, you have a choice to make that determination with your God. Are you talking at Jesus or are you talking to Jesus? Do you communicate interactively with him or are you just talking at him from a distance? Sometimes you might even find that you're really, in some ways, if no one could see, shouting as though he were far away, you know, that, oh God, please help today. When in reality, if you were talking to Jesus, it can be as simple as just simply sitting down in a chair, taking a moment or two to move the plant out of the way so the Lord could sit down and saying, hey Jesus, pretty amazing, but you showed up. <laughs> I didn't expect that, Lord. And now here you are, and now that I've got your attention, can I talk to you about some things that are going on in my life? And maybe, you know, I'll even listen to hear you say some things that are going on in your life that you would like to share with me that I could understand what's going on and maybe adapt them, you know, in ways that would help me to understand what it's going to be like to be living with you. I mean, today, shouldn't I be hearing your voice? <laughs> Sorry, I was talking to Jesus. So, you see, there's a difference between what we do and say to do and talk at as opposed to talking with. Because the reality is, is that when you are interactive, then you know that you're communicating. But when you're talking at, a lot of times people just don't want to hear what the other person has to say. So with your neighbors and with your friends, with your loved ones, with your family members, even with your children, Sometimes recognize that maybe talking to isn't so important, or maybe talking at isn't so important as talking to the person, because we all have something that to say. We all have some information that would help us and help ourselves along the way. Each one of us is important to God. And so try to remember to do two things. You know, when you're talking to God, talk to him and then listen. And when you're talking to a person, Talk to them and listen. Interact. Don't just talk at people. Because when you talk at people, you get reactions. When you talk to people, you get actions that usually involve listening, hearing, and responding to something you might be saying. In God Calling, gleams of sunlight. Because you have both because you have longed to save my world, I let you have that training that shall fit you to save. Take your pains and sufferings, difficulties and hardships each day and offer them up for one troubled soul or some prayer specially needed to be answered for that person. Make it personal and make it real. So the beauty of each day will live on after the trouble and distress and difficulty and pain have passed away. Learn from my life of the suffering that saves others. So you will sing in your pain across the grayest days these are the gleams of sunlight. In other words, even when you don't feel like it and you think that you're, you know, all distracted by whatever's going on in your life, there's no real reason to talk at a person and venting your own frustrations or feelings. But sometimes, you know, if you have to just even not talk at all, that's still communicating to a person how you're feeling without saying a word at all. Because they know. 
people know, people can sense it, people feel, and interacting with feelings of another person sometimes is the best way to share what you're feeling and hurting from that reaches out in a tender moment to someone else who may have experienced the same and they likewise will open the door for you to share with them so that you can turn it over to God in a humble, simple way and pray for them or talk to them or share. Because we've all been through life. Jesus was here. He's been through it. He knows what you're doing. He knows what you've been through. You can share that with him and then someone else, believe it or not, has been through what you've been through. It's experiencing what you're experiencing and you're not alone. So you can share that too with another person because you'll find that as you have more information about how the person is when you talk to them and not at them, then you kind of like the person a little more and they might like you a little more and understand where you're coming from so you can understand where they're coming from because we all know where we're going <laughs> and that's determined by who you're talking to or who you're talking at. <laughs>